According to myths, the 12 animals of the Chinese zodiac were selected through a race. This race is meant to create a time measurement for the people. There could only be 12 winners, and in order to win, the animals had to cross a rapid current river and reach the finish line on the shore. The anime Fruits Baskets is an anime based around the Chinese zodiac, and it even has its own spin on this folktale, saying that God invited all of the animals for a feast, and the first 12 to arrive will be a part of the new zodiac calendar, instead of having a race for the 12 spots like in the original folktale. And that the rat tricked the cat by telling him the banquet was on the day after it really was, instead of having the rat simply not wake up the cat to get a head start. Also, a unique part about the zodiac in the anime is that the embodiment of the cat named Kyo has a true form. This true form is the result of the rest of the zodiac and God's manifestation of their hatred for the cat and his betrayal. In rejecting the bond by not wanting to drink the water that would allow him to keep reincarnating forever, to be able to remain by God's side, but was already made to drink it by God. The cat in the folktale has no such true form, nor was he made to drink anything. There are many variations of this tale. In this video, it will be the one with the Jade Emperor, who is one of the representations of the first god, the ruler of all gods within Chinese mythology, and whom hosts the race. The great race loomed just on the horizon, and the cat and the rat were the best of friends. Together, the two of them hatched a plan to ride the ox across the river together. They knew the large and hardy ox was accustomed to crossing rivers and would likely finish first. At the start of the race, the two animals slipped atop the ox. Being rather thick-headed, the ox was oblivious to the two animals atop him. But, as the cat and the rat rode atop the ox, the rat jolted abruptly forward. The sudden force sent the cat flying off the ox and into the river. The cat let out a piercing hiss directed at the rat, but by then, it was too late. And the ox with the rat atop was already too far ahead of the cat. Even to this day, cat still holds a grudge against the rat. This is why cats hate water and hunts rat every time he sees him. The ox lumbered towards the finish line. The ox is going to come first. Suddenly, the rat left from ox's back and crossed the finish line first. The ox crossed the finish line a moment later. However, the ox was too composed a sort to make a big fuss. Water splashed forth from the river. The tiger had burst from beneath the water, his coat sopping wet. The water had weighed the proud tiger down, but the well-muscled tiger pushed forth in spite of the burden, hind legs rippling with tense firmness. His huge paw prints poured down on the damp, muddy shore, and with one final fierce stride, the tiger claimed the third spot in the zodiac. The Jade Emperor watched as a trio of rat, ox, and tiger crossed the finish line. He applauded them. They would be the first three animals of the zodiac. The rabbit stood perched upon a rock in the river. He was only lagging slightly behind the tiger. River water lapped up at his paws. The rabbit let out soft huffs and heaves. He had been trying desperately to keep up with the tiger. Despite the rabbit's small stature, he had kept pace, leaping from one rock to another so he could quickly cross the river. A long trail of rocks jutted up from the riverbed. As worry overtook the rabbit, the rabbit hastened his motions, pulling back hurriedly on his strong hind legs. The rabbit feared that if he did not pick up his pace, another animal might seize the fourth spot from him. Suddenly, the rabbit slipped, tumbling back first into the murky waters of the river. A few moments later, the rabbit's eyes widened as he saw a log floating slowly by. Nearly leaping up from the river, the rabbit sped into a wild paddle, water flying up around him. He pressed both paws to the log, clinging on as tightly as he could muster. Alas, the log was barely moving, bobbing complacently in the water. A sudden gust stirred thickly in the air, sending the log hurtling down the river. The rabbit's heart throbbed in slow motion as the log drifted towards the shore, where the finish line was. The rabbit's pulse gradually slowed, seemingly one beat at a time, as he neared the shore a deep-seated feeling of relief overtaking him. The rabbit peered backwards as he floated closer to shore. No other animals were in sight. The rabbit hopped right across the finish line. The rabbit did not stop as he passed the Jade Emperor. The Emperor was smiling at the rabbit with a generous grin. The rabbit passed rice paddies as he made his way towards the forest. Reaching a shaded and secluded thicket, the rabbit collapsed into a tiny heap of white fur. A mix of relief and exhilaration 
had seeped through his being, replacing the disappointment he had felt about only getting fourth place. Over the finish line, the dragon soared swiftly, moving in a majestic aerial stride as it shimmied through the clouds, its long tail streaming and lashing about the placid sky, wind racing past him. As the dragon made his rapid descent, the clouds seemed to part. The Jade Emperor stood awaiting the great creature. Why had the dragon not come in first place, he wondered. When the Jade Emperor addressed the dragon, he began to explain the circumstances that had befallen him. Exalted Jade Emperor, on my way, I saw several villagers that were in trouble. A fire had ignited amidst their crops, and they had been surrounded in a circle of blaze. I knew that my spot in the zodiac was on the line, but I could not stand by and watch. To put out the flames, I used my breath to extinguish the blaze, snuffing it out like a flickering candle. I had to be careful, though. I did not want to also sweep the villagers up in this gale of my own creation. I also saw a tiny rabbit in the river clinging to a log, so I used my breath to push it to shore. The Jade Emperor smiled again. He was well acquainted with the dragon's nature. He was not disappointed in him. As the dragon and the Jade Emperor spoke, the horse was in the midst of galloping across the river, splashing up water as her hooves moved like beating pistons through the ankle-deep water, beads of mist silhouetting her strong equestrian form. The horse burst from the river. Only a few strides separated her from the finish line. Something slithered through the grass. From the grass, the snake surged out, approaching from behind the horse's hooves. Overtaken by shock, the horse recoiled, leaping backwards. A high neigh exited the horse's mouth, hooves thrown up towards the sky. With a quick slither, the snake crossed the finish line. The Jade Emperor watched the snake move past the finish line, still smiling. He did not judge the snake. The snake had merely been clever. The horse lowered her long face, a tinge of shame lingering in her dark, beady eyes as she stepped across the finish line. Fear had cost her the sixth spot. Her legs, which moments ago had carried her in an untamed gallop, were now locked in slow, shaky steps, which barely left imprints upon the dirt. Back in the river, the monkey, the rooster, and the sheep all floated atop a raft, which the rooster had found resting by the opposite shore, unclaimed by anyone. Together, the three of them worked furiously, using lengthy branches as makeshift paddles. When the rooster, the monkey, and the sheep reached the river's shore, they let the sheep cross first, claiming eighth place. The sheep had been so comforting and formed such harmonious bonds with them that the others felt it was only right to let the sheep claim eighth place. The monkey claimed the ninth place, and the rooster took the tenth place. Coat sopping wet, the dog scrambled across the finish line next panting as he did so, canine tongue flapping from his open mouth. The dog was an adept swimmer, but because he had not bathed for some time, he had overindulged in the river, frolicking without a care in the water, and thus the dog claimed the eleventh place in the race. By the finish line stood the Jade Emperor. Eleven animals had already crossed. There was only one spot remaining in the Zodiac now. What animal will conclude the race? The Jade Emperor wondered. Over the horizon, a loud, exhausted oink sounded. The pig waddled towards the finish line, pink skin caked in dense layers of dirt, sniffling snout pasted brown with mud. Yet, the pig moved at a surprisingly swift gait, little feet locked in a tiny, cyclical gallop. The Jade Emperor gave the pig a sharp glance as he crossed the finish line. How has one, such as you, who possesses such surprising speed, fallen so far behind, he asked. The pig snorted as he readied himself to speak. Sorry, exalted Jade Emperor. I was hungry and couldn't resist stopping to gobble something up. I felt sleepy after eating and couldn't help myself. The Jade Emperor smiled again as he peered down at the dirt-covered pig. The race had concluded. The twelve animals of the Zodiac had been decided, and so concluded the great race.